ultimately the diagnosis is usually through a specialist. So a pediatric hepatologist or a pediatric gastroenterologist, but the journey there is not always straightforward. It can take months uh, to even years, ultimately for a family to get a diagnosis. A common story or journey that you hear uh, families talk about is what starts out as the baby was fussy uh, or um, they start noticing the, the, the puritis in infancy or as the, the child gets to five or six months old, uh, then starts to trigger you know, an analysis of what else might be going on. Um, they will uh, eventually can find their way to a specialist that would suspect liver disease from the puritis. Once you kind of get into the hands of a, a specialist on, in pediatric GI or hepatology, typically it's a few steps of uh, laboratory analysis of liver enzymes in the blood. Ultimately, you can get to a, a genetic confirmation uh, following once you suspect liver disease, as there are a handful of these different uh, genetic disorders that can cause uh, liver disease uh, in kids. Um, the other uh, path is jaundice, uh, and there's uh, specific features of the disease, facial features, cardiovascular implications. These are other things that can kind of signal that uh, allergy syndrome is a potential uh, uh, diagnosis for some other uh, complications outside the liver that the family may be dealing with. Music